Donald Trump's second impeachment trial is scheduled to start next week, and he's got a new legal team to represent him. Sources close to the Trump camp say the former president parted ways with his original legal team over the weekend on a disagreement on how to handle his defense. There are reports that Trump wants to argue election fraud in his Senate trial. Well, here to talk about this is Travis Kennedy GOP Executive Director Brian Ruddle and Glenn Smith from Progress Texas. Glenn, starting with you, uh, what happens if the president's attorneys argue election fraud before the Senate next week? I really don't believe he wants to do that. It was his lies about election fraud that incited the riot and the insurrect, armed insurrectionists that attacked the United States Capitol. These are the kind of words that led to the deaths of people in the Capitol and for which he's being impeached. So I can't imagine he wants to bring that theme to the floor of the Senate. I mean, it's, Democrats won't mind talking about it, but I can't believe he wants to talk about the motivation for the riot that he is accused of causing. He ought to move on to some different kind of defense if he can think of one. Brian Ruddle, this second impeachment trial, is it even a constitutional proceeding? No, there, there is a little bit of a legal discrepancy, uh, and there's a lot of various opinions. Uh, one thing that I think we need to really understand is that by adding the toolbox of uh, impeaching a former uh, president, not current president, this just adds another tool to the toolbox of Congress in a very highly partisan environment. Uh, I'm not sure that this is the time that we need to be adding this new tool. Um, I believe that there are other measures that we can use. A, a strong bipartisan censure of President Trump, I think, can express the outrage that we saw uh, and that we feel over what happened at the Capitol. Um, we saw last week uh, 45 Republicans vote to say that they will, that these uh, it's not going to be constitutional uh, impeachment. So I think that what we're seeing from now on is going to be a lot of show from, from the Democrats. I don't think there's any real chance for actual impeachment. Glenn Smith, some GOP members say that this impeachment is doing way more to damage our country at a time when we should be working to unify. What is your take on that? It's absurd, in a word. The Republicans helped incite an armed attack on the U.S. Capitol for which people need to be held accountable. And among those people is President Trump. To suggest that holding someone accountable is somehow or other creating disunity or, or, or holding against bipartisanship is ridiculous, frankly. Where's the criticism of the armed attack on the U.S. Capitol? Where's the criticism of Trump for inciting it? Those who want to get to the bottom of what happened and hold accountable those responsible should be listened to. In fact, they are going to be listened to by the American people. So the argument from the Republicans is simply absurd. Brian, many Senate Democrats are already saying that they're going to convict, vote to convict, without even hearing evidence. In your opinion, is this a rushed impeachment? Uh, to an extent, yes. Obviously, with this process, it needs to be moving fast for the Democrats. Uh, delaying this out, uh, we've already seen... Uh, even on the Republican side, less and less support for potential uh, impeachment uh, of President Trump. Uh, they really need to try to push this through as fast as possible. Um, you know, the fact that they're, you know, the, the process by which the impeachment will happen, whether witnesses will be called, uh, the number of witnesses, the amount of cross-examination. Um, I, I think this is going to be a, a rushed process. I don't think it will be a successful process, uh, but it will be a political process. Okay, we are out of time. Brian, Glenn, thank you both very much for your time tonight. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.